The design you see here is for a walled courtyard, a very formal design. But as it stands now, it gives us a really good opportunity to use the mirror command. So what I'm going to do is just select everything to the left here, like so. I want to mirror everything on the left hand side and move it across. I still need to select the hatching there and I'll right click and use the mirror command. And for my first point, I'll use the midpoint and snap to the midpoint here. And then for the other midpoint, I'll also chose, choose the midpoint down on the bottom line here, like so. And we're done. Now on the right, I ran the plant schedule earlier with just the plants on the left hand side. This is a very simple design, only three species are being used in it. So I need to update that schedule. So it's GCAD plus, plant schedule and update it. We should go from 144 and we should in fact double up when the update has been done, 288. So we've got uh, a, lot of, a lot of planting, but a restricted plant palette. For running a plant schedule such as that is one way to get quantities from a design. But because this design has been built largely using blocks, and I'll pick this one here, that's a block of 300 by 300 paver, and this here is a raised water feature, um, and that's all been done with blocks. So we've got a lot of pavers here, and a number of raised features. So what we can do is go to GCAD plus and say, I want to extract block data. Let's pick blocks from an area and we'll say, select the entity. So we're going to drag out all the blocks in that part of the, the drawing. And they're all highlighted and we'll hit enter. And that gives us the opportunity to put on the desktop and we'll just call it blocks. And it's going to be written as a CSV file. And we can then load that into Excel to get our additional quantities. Well, I'll start Excel and then I'll pick a blank workbook. Then I'll go to the data tab and we're going to bring in some information from a CSV, which is essentially just a text file. And I'll go to the desktop and we'll pick our blocks drawing. And that should bring in all that information that we wrote out from the GCAD plus. So we get a, a preview and we'll say, let's, let's load it. So we, here we have all of the pavers. And if I scroll down, we have in fact, all of the plant species that are in there, the mondos, and so not all that we'd obviously don't need all of this information, but the, the pavers and the raised water feature and so on are all dragged out by the blocks extract command. So once you have it in Excel, you can manipulate and hide columns and you probably don't need the X and the Y columns. So you can simply hide those and they disappear. So you can massage the information quite easily in the Excel environment and if needed, you can bring it back into GCAD Plus. Well, one little word of warning if you're doing this sort of calculation, I've had to use the Y value to add up the number of pavers that I've got using the count function. The reason I can't use the 300 by 300 paver column is that's actually text. You have to have a numeric column to add up. So that tells us we have 84 of those pavers required in the design. Well, here we've done just a little massaging of the data in Excel, added up the pavers with the count function, the raised water feature, the same, the ginkgos, the liriops, and the mondos using that count function again. Well, then I simply printed that Excel information, set up a print zone around that little chunk, and uh, brought it back into the GCAD Plus environment.